Hello everyone, this is Crime Alley Comics. Thank you for joining me tonight. I have a few comic books to show you, and I did get my Robbie the Robot out of the box, one of them, and I wanted to show you a little more detail on that as well. And I have a couple other things I picked up this weekend that I thought you might enjoy. So I'm going to start out with my Robbie the Robot. And as you can see, He does some interesting things. <laughs> now, if you notice the top, he lights up on top. But that's Welcome all you see it do is light up at, the, at this point. To transport you to the residence. Now, there's a few modifications that you can make to these that I, will, I probably will go in and do later on. But uh, if you notice, when he's talking... Well, anyway, <laughs> he, uh, when he talks, the light comes on, but then when he talks, it goes off. So it's kind of backwards to the way it should be, because normally when he talks, it lights up as he's talking. So there is a way to go inside this. You have to take the head off and, and take it apart to get to the circuit board, but there is a way that you can move um, a wire to another contact and then it reverses the way it flashes the light so then the lights off um, the light sh is off and then when he starts talking it comes on instead of the way it is now and there's also a portion if I could get it to do it uh, where it just makes sounds the other day when I showed you this that's all I could get it to do was make the sounds but the light comes on and stays on during that sound and uh, if you flip it then it's off all the time during that part and then it just flashes on as he speaks uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is on the back here it's got a switch that uh, puts it in the walk mode and he he does a few different things when he's walking than he does just the way he is now so I'm gonna flip that switch and then I'm going to hold him here and let you see what he does when he's walking. There's the sound I was trying to get it to make. If you notice this up here is spinning now where it didn't before. So when he's walking, his body is also rotating back and forth. And he will continue to speak and make different sounds as he's walking. If I held him this way, it'd be better, I guess. This is what he looks like when he's walking. Okay, anyway, so that's... Uh, that's that, Rob. This is the Walmart exclusive Robbie the Robot. Uh, right now, they're only about $14.99, $14.98, something like that. Really cheap, and it's a really nice robot, as you can see. It's got a lot of detail on it. Well, if I get it over here where you can see it. Um, if I do take this apart, I may do some painting and, you know, make this a little more accurate. Uh, screen accurate, I should say. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's Robbie. Compared to my Lost in Space robot from the 90s, he is about uh, probably two inches taller, maybe three inches taller than my B9 robot from Lost in Space. Okay, so that's Robbie. <laughs> now, a couple other things I'll show you before I get to the comic books. I went to Hobby Lobby this weekend, and they have this really cool, let's see if I can get it up here where you can see it, um, Star Trek wall hanging. These are 40% off, I think, or maybe 50% off, I forget. But anyway, uh, $37, I got it for like $22, something like that. Very cool, uh, get this back here, we can see it. 
very cool wall hanging switches from one picture to the other I thought that was pretty cool so I think I may take that to work and hang it in my office <laughs> right now all I have in my office is Batman stuff so I thought I'd take a little Star Trek and uh, put it back in there I did have a few things and I brought them home and then I took some stuff for Batman and that's what I've had there ever since so speaking of Batman I did pick up a couple more Batmobiles at Walmart this week uh, this one being of course the uh, Batman animated series Batmobile there we go you can see it a little better there now and it's got the Batman action figure with it I already have this <laughs> but I got another one because I think I may want to take them out of the box and then of course I had to get the Adam West 1966 Batmobile again so now I have a couple of these and uh, basically bought these two so I could take them out of the package and you know display them now to the comics I uh, bought a couple books off eBay this week and they just come in today actually um, I purchased this detective comics number 336 with the witch flying across the moon in the background nice 12 center you see there and uh, the guy threw in this uh, Wonder Woman 232 So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm glad to get those. Now, from what I picked up at the LCS, uh, I hadn't picked this one up yet. It's uh, Black Widow number two, and uh, it's a Alex Ross cover. So I wanted to get that back here where you can see it. And then. Uh, <laughs> I have these on my pull list but she didn't have it in my pull list this week and uh, this is Star Trek year 5 number 18 then I realized that uh, I didn't get number 17 either because she didn't have it in the pull list the, uh, the time before very cool McCoy background there back uh, McCoy in the background and the Enterprise flying up across there very cool cover And then, um, also from my LCS, I got this uh, Future State Dark Detective number one, the art germ cover. And this was in really good shape and it was cheap, so. I picked this up at my LCS also. This is uh, the Saga of Rachel Ghoul, number four. Neil Adams cover, of course. And then to end this with uh, showing you the Robbie the Robot, I picked up this Forbidden Planet number one from Innovation Comics I have number t uh, number three coming and looking to buy number two and number four because there's four books in the series so I'd like to get the whole the whole series and uh, you know I take I take uh, just these little bouts of you know changing things that I buy and stuff and I've gotten back into the robot mode again so that's why I bought Robbie and you know I, I never did buy the uh, B9 lost in space robot that Diamond Select came out with so um, I'm looking to probably get one of those pretty soon so I'll show you that when I get it because uh, it it's a lot nicer than the 90s version that I have 
it does more things and uh, then the, there's the Morbius model kit and it's much bigger than the than these uh, uh, electronic models and so I thought about getting that but I've got a bunch of models now and I, I haven't been able to work on any of them so I kinda hate to get another model to to start working on because I'm not gonna be able to work on it. so anyway uh, I am going to let's see I'm hoping that real soon if things now that things are kinda winding down a little bit you know, I had the timing belt issue with my wife's car. I got that fixed last week. And I decided I'm not going to drive mine until I replace the timing belt on it. Because mine actually has more miles on it than my wife's does. <laughs> and uh, I had never put a belt on it. So I tore it down last week. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. I got my wife's car done uh, a week ago Friday. And I started on mine last Monday. And I finished mine up today because I just, you know, I work on it just a little bit at a time because I got other things going on. And then we blew a brake line on the truck. So my dad's got that over in his garage and we've been working on that. And I also bought an instrument cluster uh, because the the uh, gauge was bad in the, in, in the truck. And so I got this instrument cluster because I can buy... A full instrument cluster cheaper than I could buy the gauge so I bought this instrument cluster and of course it's electronic so you can't use the board that's in the new one because it's set up for another vehicle so if you plug it in it's gonna have the the uh, odometer reading and so on from the other vehicle because that's all stored in the electronics on the instrument panel plus your uh, theft electronics is also in that so it won't match up with, <laughs> with the vehicle and with the key so it won't start so anyway I had to pull that apart take the board out of my other instrument panel and uh, well actually I kept the board for the instrument panel but I took all the gate the gauges are on one solid thing so there's four gauges and then the speedometer so I had to take that out of the other one and put it into the one for the truck and now that's fixed so I just I just got that together tonight so <laughs> I hope nothing else goes wrong now my youngest daughter just had her first child on the 14th so we're gonna go see her tomorrow and uh, so then, you know, now that I've got these repairs and stuff out of the way, hopefully I can get a little bit of time to start doing something because I wanted to I wanted to work on those uh, Corgi Batmobiles this winter. Haven't had a chance to do that yet. So, um, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be starting on those soon. or I may end up taking this robot apart and doing the modifications on that so we'll see we'll see I'll, I'll see what I can do but anyway hopefully I can uh, start doing a few more videos you know I've just had so much going on I haven't been able to for the last what, week and a half or whatever it's been so I'm very glad to be back doing another video and I want to give a shout out because uh, Boom Boom Comics just put out another video uh, couple days ago just a couple days ago he hasn't done a video for quite some time so I was really happy to see boom boom comics uh, put out a put out a new video so if you're not subscribed to boom boom comics you need to go over and check him out he's got some cool stuff uh, of course I, I, I would want to give a few more shout outs um, Joker 68 uh, I haven't talked to him as far as talking to him for a few weeks uh, he texted me the other day and we we text off and on anyway but then a lot of times he'll give me a text and ask me if I'm gonna be busy and because he wants to talk on the phone because he's feeling good enough to talk on the phone well he wanted to do that over Christmas break and he never got to feeling good enough to really do that so uh, I'm hoping to talk to him real soon he, he's that guy's been suffering for a long time I just really feel for him love the guy to death 
he did put out a video about six months ago um, if you're not familiar with his channel run over there and check him out he's got some good videos he did put a few back up of his old ones and then he, he put out a new one about six months ago he got a book from uh, Grails Anonymous so he put out a video for that which was real nice um, Metarog my buddy Metarog <laughs> God love you everybody everybody knows Metarog I think but if you don't check him out he's got some good stuff and uh, he's a he's a great member of the community um, the boy who had seven there's another great one uh, you know he's got great content he's got some awesome 9.8 graded books and you know just stuff like that and uh, and he's a great guy and uh, check him out Rayman the silencer man that guy is always going to uh, flea markets and, and antique stores, things like that. And he picks up some awesome books. I mean, he, he, he gets stuff all the time for, you know, he'll go in and there'll be somebody there with a box of comics and, you know, they'll, they'll want a buck a piece for him or two bucks a piece or whatever. He'll just ask him what he take for the whole box and he'll end up buying, you know, a short box for, forty dollars fifty dollars something like that and gets all these really cool books I mean he gets some nice books so yeah check him out um, super Russ 9000 that's a guy to check out as well super Russ is awesome he's a funny guy I love to watch that guy uh, he has some great content um, so there's the, there's some people for you to check out if you don't know who they are which most of you probably do but if you don't you really need to check them out because they got some great stuff anyway that's all I got for tonight um, hope everybody has a great week we're getting some snow here today but it, we, you know really it's not been a bad winter yet so hopefully it'll kind of keep going this way the uh, farmer's almanac says it's supposed to be a colder winter and it's supposed to be more snow this this winter well so far it's been a pretty mild winter so who knows <laughs> next month we may it may drop below zero and we may get two feet of snow who knows but we've had some mild winters over the last several years so we're due for a, a, a good snow <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click on the notification bell if you want to be notified when I put up my next video and with that I will let you go have a great weekend have a great week God bless and we'll see you all next video <laughs>